Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to my random gaming series. They're playing Midsummer Night. Uh, I'd like to get, thank the guys over at Everlasting Fantasy for letting me try this game out for free. Uh, we got some interesting tunes. I just noticed my mouse cursor went from a, sun, from a bright sun to a sleepy moon. Oh, and it, it's the sun again. Eh, maybe it's not so cheerful. <laughs> Well, you just always think of a uh, sun that's cheerful. You never hear like a grumpy sun. You're like, man, it sucks to be up here all bright and stuff, you know? You never think of that, so. <laughs> let's let's just play the game. Let's see let's see what this game is about. It's supposed to be pretty atmospheric from what I've seen from the uh, Steam description. kind of makes me think a little bit of like, just from this right here, it makes me think of kind of like RPG Maker, only very, very shiny. All right, Vladimir, from from there, from uh, here, you just walk straight north through the woods. You'll find that dugout soon. Soon enough. Oh, enter. Understood. Thank you, Pavel Ivank. I'm sorry, I, I butchered that name miserably. No, I didn't miserably butcher. Butchered it. I butchered it majestically. I did a bad job pronouncing it. That's what I'm trying to say. You'll find out more in the leaflet. Go on now. Ain't got time to chat. Lots of stuff to do. I'll meet you here in the evening. You've got a beard, Vova. Is that Vova? That's a weird name. I mean, unless your name is actually Vova. Then it's not a weird name at all. But I see you, a citizen, know little of the countryside. So I'll tell you briefly how you should behave. Behave yourself in the forest and field. You want to go straight, press the up arrow. Okay. Use wise to gotcha. You don't want to listen to nature sounds. Perhaps you're used to city noises. Press escape and choose the icon that turns the music off. There's another option. The option that here, and if you choose it, you'll leave the forest in an instant. Don't worry, if you want to continue your expedition later, go to the main menu and choose continue and you'll start from the place where you finished last time. Your journey is automatically saved. Okay, cool. So for now, when you reach the dugout, unfold my note once again and I'll tell you something else. Okay. For this dude, I guess. What is this? Hint. Not much uh, as far as uh, an options menu. Can't pick any flowers, I don't seem. Nothing there but dirt. a frog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. I mistook a frog for a cow. Here's one more thing I want to tell you, Bova. There's some things in, your, in our neck of the woods. Maybe a lifeless stone or somebody alive that you can interact with. Start a conversation, pick something up, or learn a bit about them. They're called, if I remember correctly, interactive objects. Right. Go oh, how, Vova? Two ways of interacting with them. First one is examine. If you're near this kind of object, press Q. Okay, you gotta remember Q. Interact. Press E. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. There's one way of inter There's one more way of interacting. If you see something useful on your way, make sure to keep it. Maybe we'll use it later in a uh, simple situation. In order to use it, you need to press I. You know you're near an interactive object in the upper right hand corner you'll see indicators QEI. Okay. It help me remember what I need to press then. So while I do any of the mentioned actions with the nearest object. That's all I want to tell you, Vova. P.S. Don't worry, if you forget something you can read these instructions again. To do this, press escape. 
Oops. Well, my recording thing is uh is uh doing it. Cause that's examine. Oh my bones, my bones. Ah. <laughs> Greetings. An old face comes out from from the humid shadow. Oh boy, where did you come from, my darling? I'm an anthropologist. I thought, oh, I thought I said an ar archaeologist a minute ago. <laughs> Terrible reading skills, everybody. I'm a city research institute. I study folklore elements, folktales, proverbs. Speaking of terrible reading skills, I thought that said perverts. That's the thing to study. <laughs> I hang out in bathrooms and sleazy bars. It's part of my job. <laughs> Traditions. Oh, crap. Sounds like a totally different job, actually. Why did you come to my place? I've been told a tale that once in this forest, uh, one, that once in this forest, happened something very mysterious. Under, mur uh, under murky circumstances, children disappeared, and villagers looked for them for a long time. They never found them, and nobody ever saw them again. I've been told that you are the one who remembers and tells this tale better than anyone else. Oh, my little boy, if you had come here thirty years ago, it might have gone better. Now my memory has faded almost completely. I'm ready to get in. Get onto the sleigh and head for the forest. Well, Pavel Ivankovich told me you remember. That old devil can't keep a still tongue in his head. When will he return, my hay fork? Oh, I thought he was calling me a hay fork. I was like, that's a weird term of endearment. So what exactly happened here? Oh, my dear, all, all that is just... All that is just fairy tales for kids. Why would you listen to them? You're a grown-up. That's my job. But that's job. It's not splitting logs. Well, come into my mud house. I make some herbal tea. It's a long story. I'm free till evening. Should've kept silent. I can see through you instead of plowing and sowing. Just wander in the woods drinking tea. Is this guy a murderer or something? Did we just... Oh, the stories people tell. The story is century old. Now listen. A long, long time ago, and I, get, I mean so long ago, you wouldn't know when, there was a village in the forest not far from here. They little folk, kind of friendly. Everybody knew each other, and everybody helped each other. And on the village's edge, in a little hut, lived two orphans, a sister and a brother. The boy's name was Clem, and the girl's Alien Nushka. Uh, one of them, one of their names is easier to pronounce than the other. What lovely kids they were. The boy, though young of age, had, had gifted hands any master craftsman would envy. The girl was clever with her needle and a true beauty. And so one day, on the eve of the great Midsummer Night Feast, Yeah, glancing at the uh, description, uh, it, it sounds like this deals a lot with like uh, Slavic uh, folklore. furnace. No line of fire, it's summertime. We've got nothing in our inventory, okay. Jug of fresh milk and a chunk of fresh bread. My sister saved it for a feast later. Wait, oh, can I maybe move? No, 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 that's, that's if I have stuff in my inventory. Okay. So I'm guessing if there's something to interact with, then uh, it'll, it'll tell me that, it, it'll, pressing E will pick it up, and then I can use it by 
using it, I guess is what it's what I'm trying to say. Open door. Okay. Oh, okay. Birch more no. My friend says I wanna won't twine the wreaths of flowers for the evening. We'll be culling flowers in the meadow by the forest face or edge. I thought that said face, okay? Meet us there before the feast. A crust and a jug of fresh milk are on the table. I will say one thing about this game. It doesn't have the uh, easiest to read fonts. Okay. Antoine, a domestic pig. Whee! I will say that this does have a <clears throat> very, uh, <clears throat> oh, good grief. Kind of a nice, sweet uh, atmosphere and music and stuff. Okay, so it's flour. We have so much chamomile in the attic at home. Okay, so we don't need it. Gotcha. Cicero, we call it Popover. We call it Poppy. Helpful in case of insomnia, it looks good in the garden as well. Okay, so we can't, uh, we don't need the flour then, right? We haven't been picking this stuff, right? Okay, we can only pull up our inventory when they're near it. But now I don't like that. Okay, gotcha. Wait, is this something? Yeah, it is. Just a couple of sticks sticking out of the ground. Who left them here? And why, I wonder? Why would I need that? Is it a grave? That'd be a good thing to know. If it was. Who needs a road? Where we're, where we're going, we don't need road. So let's actually check out the road, make sure we're not missing anything. I backpedaled from that philosophy awfully fast, didn't I? Ooh, what's this? Bellflower or something. Hard to tell with this art style. Hard to tell about its properties when I don't know what kind of flower it is. Okay. Self this game is uh, rather self-referential. Um, it's sometimes a good thing, sometimes not such a good thing. Always depends on the tone, whether or not the tone is humorous. Fluffy bunny. Here's enjoying itself and deadly happy. Don't disturb it. It may kill you. Okay. Mushroom. Fly Garrett mushroom. Flies don't seem to mind it much. Apparently, I can't pick it. Can't do anything with the water. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. We already looked at the... At the whoa! The showgirl scream just got heard from the metal side. Ah, what is that? Let her go and go back into the woods. Help anyone. Okay, well that is ominous. On the right way marker to the feast, on the left to the meadow. Alliance gets friend. It's Miana, she's in tears. Seems talking to her now will get me nowhere. Oh. Zag Zl Zlagia. Running back and forth in a panic. Okay, okay. Zagliata, okay. Alianskia. Alianskia. Smiana, Zagliata. What happened? 
Clem, such a misfortune. What happened? Where's Alian? Where's Alianiska? Oh my gosh. I'm butchering that name so terribly. I'm gonna call her Allie. We're gonna call her Allie. She is Allie from now on. Clem and Allie, brother and sister. A beast has taken her away, Clem, right into the forest. Smyana and I were picking up flowers, and Allie was looking at a blue cornflower that grew nearby. So she ran there, but as she picked up the flower, the forest started to move. The trees were breaking, and then a huge beast appeared and grabbed her. I'm glad that was her, because that was that would have been embarrassing if that was not the word. Before we knew it, the beast had taken Allie with it and disappeared. There, in the bosom of the forest. Okay. You got. You can't use bosom and keep me on track. Okay, it's not a good idea. The girls run into the village and tell everyone that Ali has disappeared. I'll go to the forest and follow this beast. I'll try to catch up with them before dusk. Before before the dusk. Sorry, just get me a sip of water. Okay, sheesh! I need water. Cornflower. Okay. Okay, after we save her, we'll gather a lot. Okay. Footprints of the beast uh, disappear. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I just missed some, might have missed something. Oh well. Is that tree there? Okay. And I, constantly watching me, this must be the famous one-eyed Litka, a fright from children's tales. Pow! <laughs> Did I just poke it? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No, no watching. Got me an achievement for that. Trees are growing so densely here. Oh crap! I just got bit by a snake! Okay, well, that happened. Doesn't seem like it bothered them too bad. Feeling bad, the snake venom has had it had its effect. I'm lucky because this meadow grows a lot of herbs I can use to get an antidote. But there's a lot of useless weeds as well. Let's do it this way. I'll show you the herbs that can help against the venom. Your task is to pick them. I pick up a plant and press the E key. You should pick them up in the exact order. I'll show you. Okay. Please concentrate. We have a we have a little time. In a minute, the venom will spread throughout the body. I don't want to die at the beginning of the journey. Well, you're taking a whole lot of time to explain this to us. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay. Okay. Boom. 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 I'm not going to remember that. Wait. Oh, dang it. Oh, great. They're all different. Every time it's different. That's wonderful. Okay. Red, white, blue, mushroom, mushroom. Wait, no, red. White. Blue, right? Yeah, mushroom. Mushroom! Yay! The little kid's not gonna die! Yay! This little kid's not gonna die! That's the thing to celebrate. Whew. I feel much better now. Thanks. Let's continue our journey. Okay, that was a interesting little mini game. Game saved. You don't have to do that again. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, it went into a cave. I just saw a weird looking tree.
It is pretty dark in this cave. So I can't do anything with... No, I can't take the torch with me. Someone has constructed a dam here, blocking the flow uh, of an underground river. The water barely trickles. And we have nothing in the inventory. Nope, nothing. Whoa. You're nosing out. What are you nosing out here, you brat? I'll beat the tar out of you. Leave him. I'll tell everyone. Nothing to worry about. The king has already made a deal with the village head. Hmm. And the people will only be glad to have cheap firewood for their slaves. Or stoves. What? Fertilizers for their household. The job of collecting the peat, which the king will pay for very generously. I was expecting the way he was talking that these were really, really bad people. So, that was quite the twist. You brat, I hope you haven't damaged our dam, or you'll drain the bog yourself. That's true, you'd better go away. Okay, so these aren't really bad guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're down here. Oh, another one of them trees. Boat! Ah, uh, over here. Gotcha. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, it's not... That was nothing important. Okay. Okay, that's the flower. That's another stick. Something happened down here, didn't it? Small chest fell and fell down and opened. Bright text textiles are scattered all over the place, and everything is covered with colorful shatters. I I wish that the text would stay up there a little bit longer. Everything maybe things belong to the owner of the car. Okay. Broken carts. When Will's missing, I'm gonna overstrain myself. Okay, so we're gonna have to find the missing Will. Why would I need it? Okay. Oh. Hmm. It will wander all behind the trees. Oh, what's, what, what's that? Oh, it's a tree or, or a stone. It's a thing. Okay, so we gotta go back. Gotcha. I guess this way. Hey, you're able to wander around behind a whole lot of trees that you... I wouldn't have thought. Okay, I guess you gotta go here. Okay, that makes sense. A whole lot of wandering around in this game. Ooh, big tree. Oh, crap. This giant tree does not look very healthy. Oh, we can talk to it. Dry crooked branches of this giant tree are bending with squeaks towards Clem. Greeting, young man. Greetings. She looks at Clem with interest and continues. With you being here, young man, would you do me a favor? What kind of favor? I'm feeling bad lately. You may notice for yourself that the leaves have gone and the bark is rotten. The reason behind this is the exhausted spring. It's life-giving water used to nourish my roots. I've been standing here since the creation of the world. Believe me, that is a long time. It never happened before. The spring never dried out and completely dried out completely even during the most severe drought. It'd be so kind of you to find out what happened in the spring. 
But it will. I found out the reason for your misfortune. Some people have blocked the underground river that feeds your spring. They built a huge dam from rocks and logs, and, and the water comes barely through it. You say they were draining the swamp. Something about peat. Can't break it down on my own. Sorry, but I can come back with help from my village when I've saved the alley. Well, everything is clear to me now. Don't bother. If people want to drain the swamps, they won't stop. You can break the dam down, but they'll build a new one. The epic of giant trees is fading. My days are numbered. I hope the fate of the other trees will be different. So there are other trees lucky? In the earliest days of our world, in the prehistoric times, we used to grow everywhere. Our forests made the, strain the forest stronger. There were floods and fires, but thanks to us, the forest restored, af restored after any bad luck and always became better. Until the people came. Now, there are only four of us left in the entire world. Apart from me, there is Father Ashtree. He is the strongest and toughest among us. Our sister, fruitful apple tree, and a young oak which grows in the heart of the forest. Sorry to hear that. Don't be sad. People won't rule the, this world forever. Take my long twigs. They will never have sprouts in the spring. The leaves will never grow on them, and the leaves will never rustle in the warm wind in May. I don't need them, but you may have use of them. Good luck. Thanks, Mighty Willow. Farewell. So did he just... <clears throat> A long willow. Okay. Cool. Anyway, I think that's all for for this game that I'm going to play. It's not bad. I, I'm, I'm liking this game. I'll probably play, play it some more, actually. Uh, at some point. Just to... Just see more of it. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Not perfect. Um, but I do like it, though. It's got a, it has a good atmosphere, I think. Uh, despite kind of the... the uh, I wouldn't say re uh, retro or pixelated graphics. I don't guess would be the right word for it. But you know what I mean. It's kind of, it's kind of 2D-ish. It's not exactly 3D. But, uh, it is... I like it, though. It's, uh, it's doing a lot with what it's got, I guess is the way I can say it. Uh, but yeah, if this game is your cup of tea, uh, check out the link uh, in the description below. And uh, consider checking out the game yourself. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next random game. Farewell!